Croak says he's written about his experiences after more than 30 years because he believes officials in Washington today need to think more about their duty to the public and less about blind loyalty to their superiors. Ego Crow goes to prison for six months a week from tomorrow for conspiring to violate the civil rights of Daniel Ellsberg in the break-in at Ellsberg's psychiatrist's office. Bud Krogh pleaded guilty to charges stemming from his involvement with the infamous White House plumbers. For his crimes, Krogh served more than four months in federal prison. That was the first example of not thinking things through to their consequences. Now, I think we made the right decision. As a nutritional proposition, it's better to have less fat, right? But we ought to have taken into account the economic effects of that judgment before she went up and testified. We just didn't think it through. It didn't even occur to me. And Ed and I turned around and went back and sat down at our, our desks. Noticed out of our peripheral vision that the governor walked directly into our closet. <laughs> There's no problem if you come out right away. <laughs> But he didn't. Ed told me that it was exactly 27 seconds that he was in our closet. And then finally, after what seemed to be eternity, out of our peripheral vision, we could see the doorknob begin to turn. And then in his best rendition of the Pink Panther, the governor of Massachusetts oozes the door. The beginning of the Integrity Zone concept was, I think, in the paper that I wrote to Judge Gerhard Gazelle, who sentenced me to prison. I pointed out in that paper that not once during the deliberations of the White House plumbers between the middle of July 1971 and Labor Day of 1971 did anyone ask the question, is this right? What you want is to act in good conscience. What do you do? You act with integrity. You ask these questions. We never even asked them. Have I really thought this through? Is this right? Is it good? Never even got to the questions. And what do you get? Hopefully a beneficial outcome. Now these are simplistic. I know that. But each question has sub-questions that you want to ask underneath it. This model can apply to anything you're working on. 